Okay, Navlo Pomo 2011, it's day five. Today we're gonna to be talking about handling. Now I've spoken about chassis design, I've spoken about the suspension, and um, today we're gonna to look at how tires and chassis and suspension all come together to give the, the rider that feeling we call handling. Now when you're talking about handling, you're really discussing how a bike feels through the turns and how it responds to steering, but also um, to, a, to how it handles in a straight line too somewhat. Okay, so let's get started. Um, when we're talking about handling, it's really uh, finding that sweet spot between uh, stiffness and comfort. Um, a sport bike will have suspension that is very, very stiff, that is uh, going to make it handle well on a track. The stiffer the suspension, the, um, the less movement the chassis is going to have, the less the, the uh, forks and the rear wheel, the swing arm are going to compress, which is going to make the whole bike move around. But on the street, uh, on bumpy situations, this is going to feel really bad for the rider. You're going to feel every bump in your body, through every bone in your body, and every muscle in your body. It's going to get quite exhausting. But on the other hand, um, uh, a cruiser or a sport tourer is going to have a bit more uh, pliable suspension, a bit more soft, a bit more comfortable. It's going to go over those bumps a bit more um, softly. You're going to sort of absorb those bumps, but you get that bike into a sport riding situation, like an uh, aggressive canyon riding or on the track, then that suspension is not going to be as responsive. It's going to wallow a little bit, and you're going to be doing this through the turns, and you're not going to be able to go as fast. So stiffness and comfort, and finding the sweet spot for everyday riding or for finding your application. Now obviously bikes with adjustable suspension um, and higher quality components can be tuned somewhat. Also when you talk about handling there's the, uh, the extreme flickability and stability. Something like a, a Super Sport 600 is going to be very flickable which means it responds very quickly to a rider input on the, uh, on the handlebars so it will steer from side to side very quickly which is uh, ideal for sport or track conditions. Um, something uh, the other extreme, uh, a big cruiser, uh, is not going to be flickable at all. It's big, it's heavy, so that uh, it's going to handle very well in a straight line, very stable, which is where, really where its, its natural habitat is. On sport riding con conditions, it's not going to be able to move back and forth at all very quickly. In fact, it will probably crash trying to go through some of those situations. Um, so for a rider looking for everyday use, it's finding that sweet spot between having something quite flickable. Even a sport bike needs to, uh, it can't be completely uh, twitchy. It needs to have uh, some stability braking, it needs to have some stability in a straight line because obviously bikes spend their time in a, in a multitude of environments, especially when we're talking about street riding. Now one area where motorcycle technology has really improved is in handling through a better chassis design and a better suspension components and of course better tires. Um, as I mentioned previously, uh, the old air-cooled uh, steel tube chassis bikes of 20, 30 years ago uh, were really flexible and uh, the internals of the suspension really they overheated very quickly. The oil got hot, it got um, less viscous, so the damping properties were, were very weak and so the bike was basically uh, left to ride on the springs and so you'd be just bouncing on springs and as you know a spring without any damping will just keep bouncing so you get that type of action in a corner and the bike's going to be doing this and you're going to be bouncing all over the place it's going to be uncomfortable it's going to be hard to ride um, and it's not going to be very um, uh, confidence inspiring in the corner when the bike is moving around the tl best bike i've ever ridden um, even uh, a 10 year old machine like this has uh, far superior uh, handling tip it into a turn and it will stay there. If there's no falling in or wanting to stand up, it will put it, you put it on a line and it will stay on the line. Um, under braking, it's very stable, it doesn't move around. Uh, at low speeds through, this, through city traffic, it's very, very easy to maneuver and keep upright. Um, and all of this comes down to the, uh, the improved, improved chassis and uh, suspension components. Another area is tyres, but you know what, I'm going to save that for another day. Uh, tyre technology has improved greatly, but uh, that's a subject all unto itself. Okay, this has been Navapoma 2011, day five, talking about handling. I'm ready to go for a ride. I'll be seeing you. Wee, wee, wee.